Shalom, guys. Shalom. Yes, guys. Welcome to the channel. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. In this video, we're going to play the video. And I know y'all know what video I'm talking about. So make sure you guys get your chairs ready. Make sure you, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you uh, learn how to swim if you don't know how to swim. So enjoy. Can I just point out the brother that swam all the way there? He was not having it. He like, just imagine that. That that's like traumatic to watch your brother get beat down like that. Like nah, like everybody was in the boat watching. Yeah. And it was like, was it like five men and two women? I even don't know. It's it just was, it was a lot. It was a whole action a film. Crazy. It was a short short film. But it brings me back, and I hate to say this, it brings me back to like the the thirties, the forties, the fifties, the sixties, when racist white folks would jump black men and black women. They would hose them down, they would get the dogs to, you know, bite them and all this crazy stuff. It brought me back to that. <laughs> yeah, it brought me it brought me jumping up Hearing and down. Those stories. As it brought me like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> No, really, um, man. If y'all don't know how to swim, right? I'm like, I better, I better you know learn how to swim, swim and not be scared. Cause just say if your mama on the other side of that that river, you gonna you gonna swim to get to her. Your cousin, to help her. your wife, yeah, your people. Put it like your that. Your son, your brother. Yeah. So guys, I, I know you guys saw the video. We're just reacting to it because it's it's a good time to be alive. It is. That was to good alive. to see that that kind of unity because there were times when our people were too afraid to do that, like in the 50s and 60s when we would hear these stories that our grandparents told us and all of these different things that were happening. And, you know, a lot of times in America at that time, we wouldn't fight back and do anything. We would just mm. be sitting there getting knocked out. Not all of us, but, you know, some. Exactly. And it's a good point that you brought up unity because that's what we need to focus on. Although the fight happened and stuff, it, it, it broke out into craziness, and I'm seeing it everywhere on the internet. But the main point is to unify. Our people need to unify and really be ready to war, be ready for war. And I'm not talking about physical. It's, I'm talking about spiritual, because that, that's where it starts first. If we can war together in the spirit and unify in the spirit, you know, the physical is really nothing. I know um, it's a it's a story in the Bible where Moses, right? They they were going to war to to take the land, right? And all he had to do was hold his hand up all day, right? He hold his hand up like this, giving praise to the Most High, right? And as soon as he dropped it, they would start losing. But we need our people to help us hold our hand up to to to. To win is war. 
Because if we're not unified, we're, we're not going to, we, we really can't do too much. That's the most important point is to unify. Our people need to unify. I think even seeing that happen is symbolic of what is already happening in the spirit because for people to be on code like that in Alabama, shout out to Alabama. Look, Alabama is super racist. My grandma was born down there. And I'm not going to get into that story, but for strangers, complete strangers to be unified like that, like coming for those folks that were coming for their brother, like that was their blood brother. That's what we need to see. That's what we need to do at all times across the board, all over the world. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. That way people won't keep trying us like that. If they see that that's how we react, it's like, oh, okay, step back a little and be respectful. That's, that's what they're going to do. They will respect us because like, you got to think about it. They won't have a choice. No choice at all. But it's really going backwards in a way. You guys, we got to unify. But it kind of reminds me of just like the Civil War in America when the North and the South was not trying to let slaves go. And the South was the last, you know, to let slaves go. So yeah. it's kind of it's kind of like going in reverse. So you kind of got to think about that, too. It's going in reverse. So pretty soon, I'm pretty sure some boats or something might come back to Africa. Oh, for sure. I don't doubt that. So, Karibu. Yes, to welcome. Tanzania, welcome all the way to East Africa. African country you want to come to. Maybe exactly. we'll meet you one day. Exactly. So, guys, thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, we'll be talking to you in the next video. Shalom. Shalom.